prediabetes, which is defined as an impaired glucose tolerance, IGT, or impaired fasting glucose, IFG, is a risk factor for type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular complications. There are no less than 300 million people with this condition worldwide, and the number is expected to raise to 418 million people in the year 2025. Around 2 to 11 percent of pre-diabetic population has converted into type 2 diabetes every year. Such a condition encourages early pharmacological intervention that can prevent diabetes development and related complications. The LDS3233 is a novel bioactive fraction derived from the plants Cinnamomum rumani and Lacrostermia speciosa. Through a number of preclinical studies, it is known to possess an insulin sensitizing activity. In vitro studies showed that the LBS3233 modulated the expression of the genes associated with insulin signaling and sensitivity, such as PPAR, gamma, and delta. Clinical studies have also proven its safety and favorable effects on glycemic control in diabetics. The present study evaluated whether DLBS3233 is efficacious and safe in improving insulin resistance and preserving beta cell performance. 80 adult subjects with IGD were enrolled and randomly allocated in this two-arm, double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled study to receive either DLBS3233 50 to 100 mg daily or placebo for 12 weeks. The endpoints were the improvement of the HOMA IR, the 15-minute and 2 hours plasma insulin levels, and the oral disposition index. After 12 weeks, DLBS3233 improved insulin resistance better than placebo, as reflected by a significant HOMA IR reduction as shown in the figure. This augmentation of insulin sensitivity was then compensated by a significant reduction of the first and second phase insulin secretion after 8 and 12 weeks. Such a case did not occur in the placebo group. The decline in the first and second phase insulin response is generally reflecting a normal compensatory response of beta cells to the improvement of insulin sensitivity or reduced plasma glucose level. Such a reduced insulin demand then led to the enhanced performance by beta cells as confirmed by significant increase of the oral disposition index as shown in the table. There were no clinically significant events observed with the administration of the LBS 3233 to subjects. Neither was serious hypoglycemia, edema, nor cardiovascular related adverse events found in the both groups during the study. Taken together, this study has demonstrated that the LBS3233, once daily, was efficacious and well tolerated in improving insulin sensitivity and beta cell performance in subjects with IGT. The detail of our study is presented in this paper, and I hope you really enjoy reading the paper. Thank you.